Today, we will discuss the passage of STPM Physics Term 1 in 2023. So here is section B. So we look at the question. The variation of tensor force with extension of a glass fiber until the fiber breaks at P is shown in the graph. The length and cross-sectional area of the glass fiber are given. State whether the glass fiber is brittle or ductile. Give a reason for your answer. So you need to understand about the word brittle and ductile. So for ductile is usually referred to the metal that is deformed when uh, the force applied. So the glass fiber will be brittle since it is hard, but breaks easily without deforming when applied force exceeds 50 Newton. So if you refer to the graph for a metal subject, so there will be some deformations before it breaks. So the glass fiber is brittle in this case. So the next question is to determine the maximum tensile stress. So quite straightforward, the formula is given as force over area. So you have the force 50 Newton and the area given as 6.4 times 10 to power negative 7 meters square. So the answer is here. And the next question is to de determine the Young modulus for the glass fiber, which the formula is stress over strength, where the strength is the extension divided by the original length of the wire, which is 0 0.28 meter. So put in all the values, you should get the answer as 6.25 times 10 to the power of 10 plus cup. So the last question for question 16 is calculate the energy release once the glass fiber breaks. So the energy is given as half Ke square, or you could also use half Fe since we have the force and the extension. So put in all the values and you would get the energy is equal to 8.75 times 10 to the power of negative 3 joule. So we move on to question 17. Ozone layer in the earth atmosphere consists of ozone gas that has density of 0 0.2 kg per meter cube and temperature negative 56 degrees Celsius. Assume that the gas behaves as an ideal gas, calculate the pressure of the ozone layer. So when, you, when we talk about the ideal gas, so we always talk about the ideal gas equation, PV equal to nRT. So before that, we are given with the molar mass and also the density. So you will need to review back the formula for the density, which is mass over volume. And the formula for the molar mass is the mass divided by the number of mole. So from the equations, PV equal to nRT, we have the pressure is equal to N over VRT. And we could split the N over V as N over M multiply mass over the volume. So here you could see that the reciprocal of this N over M is the mass divided by the number of mole which is the molar mass, and mass over volume is the density. So by deriving from the ideal gas equations, we could get all the puzzles together that we have the density, 0 0.2, multiply the gas constant and the temperature. Don't forget to convert it into Kelvin, and then divided by the molar mass. So in the end, the pressure here is equal to 7.51 times 10 power of 3 Pascal. So next question is the ways to reduce global warming. So I guess this should be not a problem. So here is some suggested answers such as using the clean energy, public transport, and also plant more trees could help to reduce the global warming. So that's all for the section B. Thank you.